Welcome back to the Mid-Year Mitch YouTube channel. Today's episode, I wanted to tell you guys about a very special project that I've had the honor to be a part of. In 2023, the brand Corvette is celebrating its 70th anniversary, and part of this, I have a friend that is creating this very special project to create a book that portrays 70 Corvettes and 70 Corvette owners that are across the United States and Germany because he is from Germany. So he is a American car fanatic, he is a wedding photographer, and he's a businessman by trade, but he just loves American cars and he wanted to put this really cool project together, and he has kind of a neat niche. So he traveled across Germany capturing some really cool Corvettes and some really cool Corvette stories, and then he's also traveled to the States twice to get some really cool stories. He's traveled to Florida, which you'll see a very cool picture of Neil Armstrong's 67 Corvette. He's went to the West Coast, the East Coast. He's been all over the country. And just a couple weeks ago, he was in my neck of the woods to photograph my 63 Corvette. So I'm very excited that not only is my red Corvette gonna be in a book, but I'm also gonna be in the book with the Corvette. I think this is a really cool project because most books just photograph cars and it just purely talks about the car. But there's a lot more to just, you know, owning a old Corvette or a Corvette. There's the story of how you got it, your story. So there's a lot more that ties into it. So it adds a little more of that personal flair to the book than just your average run of the mill book. And I think it's really cool because there's 35 stories in the States, 35 stories in Germany, and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of overlap in the stories because the Corvette community is pretty tight. So it should be really exciting, but I had to get my car all cleaned up, shined up, ready for the, the photo shoot. If you wanna show your support, you can go ahead and send an email to the link below. Um, to get on the list for the pre-orders. Pre-orders should be ready around the holidays. Um, I'll put his website down below also, so make sure you bookmark that if you're interested. Get yourself a copy of the book. He's not trying to get rich off this project. He just has a passion for it, and the more pre-orders he gets, you know, it just works out better. He can get more books printed, and everybody wins. There's more copies out there. But I'm really excited to team up with him on this project. Um, and again, you know, this is just something that I did because I was really excited about it. I sent him uh, some pictures of my Corvette. Actually, the picture I sent him was of my red car and the Misfit in the driveway. And he's like, I have to get both of those together. And this was whenever I still had the Misfit and it was running and driving. And then shortly after I sold it. So I had to break the news to him that he'd only be photographing my red car, but he was more than excited with that anyways. Um, it was a really cool photo shoot. It was a good excuse to get my car cleaned up. I think you guys are gonna enjoy the book. I'll keep you guys posted, but I'll put some pictures up here of some of the other cars that he is photographed. Just a little taste. These are all pictures from his website, so I'm not spoiling anything. But don't worry, I've been working in the garage. Uh, I haven't had as many videos lately because I've been preparing my car, doing some stuff with my house. But I've been doing a lot of work on this white split window in the background. So the body is swapped onto the chassis. It's almost all bolted down. And then it's time to put the interior in it, wire it up, plumb it, fire it. This thing's gone down the road. So it's getting there. Um, there'll be some videos on that in the next coming weeks, but I have some work trips coming up and some other things. So I will do my best to get videos out, but I'm mainly just trying to get work done because I'm, I don't wanna say I'm falling behind the schedule, but it's approaching that way. So there'll be some videos coming up very soon. Don't worry, I'm still here. I'm still making videos and I am still working on cars. Sometimes it just takes a little longer because life gets in the way. And I had this really important project I wanted to take care of that I've been holding under wraps, but he just sent me pictures yesterday. So I was like, I gotta make a video about this. So again, if you wanna show your support, for myself or the project, I don't get anything from this. I just wanna help Mario because he helped me out and I'm sure there'll be a little picture of my YouTube logo in there somewhere which may help get me some subscribers. So I'm really appreciative of that, but please go check out his site. Even if you don't wanna buy a copy of the book, just go ahead and check out his site. It's really cool. You'll see some cool Corvettes and I'm excited to see what he puts together here next year. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of work to do in the garage. So I'll catch you guys later. Also, you can check out Mario's Corvette. He has a very special 66 Laguna Blue Corvette. I believe it's serial number six. So it's a super early car, 350 horse side pipes. I think it has teak wheel, telescopic steering column. It's like loaded. It's a super cool car, beautiful color combination. And of course, since he's a photographer, any picture he takes with that color, the way it flops, it just turns out awesome. So go check that out. He's a 
Corvette fanatic. So he's a really cool guy. Definitely want to support him in his ventures because he has an appreciation for the car just like I do. Eventually I'm going to put together a little mid-year Mitch merchandise store. I don't know if I'm going to do a website or just put stuff on eBay. But I'll have my mid-year Mitch shirts. I'll get some more hats made. And then I'm also going to get some of these prints made of some of the pictures that probably might be in the book. I'm not sure which ones he's going to use, but he also took a ton of other pictures. So I'll get some prints made for myself. And if I think they're really cool, maybe I'll put a couple of those online as well. Put my logo on the bottom of them and they'll either be posters or little pictures or prints or canvases, something like that. So I will also have something like that available because I think the pictures are really cool. And maybe you guys would want some of those on your wall. I may have a couple of the Misfit and any other future project that I think is really cool. Maybe eventually, you know, my 67 that's waiting patiently back there. So you guys will have to stay tuned to see more information on that in the future.